subscribe ecofan for more educational videos welcome dear learners today we are going to discuss about environmental justice environmental justice is a social movement seeking to achieve the fair and equitable distribution of environmental benefits and burdens associated with economic production so environmental justice movement began in united states in 1980s and was heavily influenced by american civil rights movement it has generated large interdisciplinary body of social science literature that includes theories of environment and justice, environmental laws and their impl implementations, environmental policies, sustainability, political ecology. So environmental justice is the fair treatment and meaningful involvement of all people, regardless of race, color, national origin uh, or income with respect to development and implementation and enforcement of environmental laws regulations and policies so the original concept of environmental justice in 1980s focused on harms to certain marginalized racial groups within rich countries such as united states the movement was later exp uh, expanded to more completely uh, consider gender, international environmental discrimination and inequalities within disad disadvantaged groups. As the movement achieved some success in developed and affluent country, uh, environmental burdens have been shifted to global south. The movement for environmental justice has thus become more global with some of its aim now being articulated by United Nations. So, environmental justice, uh, as we have earlier seen in the definition, is based on two concepts, that is fair treatment and meaningful involvement. So, the fair treatment means no group of people should bear a dis a proportionate share of negative environmental consequences later on in this slide i will explain you what are the negative environmental consequences mm -hmm. that results from the industrial governmental or operational po or policies and second part of the definition is about meaningful involvement that means people have an opportunity to participate in decisions about activities that may affect their environment or health the public's contribution can influence the regulatory agency's decision and community concern with are considered in the decision making process and decision makers will seek out and facilitate the involvement of these potentially affected so examples of environmental burdens for example that may be considered under the umbrella of environmental justice it covers many aspects of community life these burdens include any environmental pollutant hazard or disadvantage that compromises the health of community or its residents for instance one environmental issues an example is inadequate health healthy food Certain communities, particularly low income or minority communities, often lack supermarkets or other sources of healthy and affordable foods. Another issue is inadequate transportation. While public transportation may be available in urban areas, policies must be monitored to avoid cuts in services and fare hikes that make it difficult for community residents to pursue employment or an adequate living standard air and water pollution are major environmental issues uh, regarding the environmental justice because many low income or minority communities are located near industrial plants or waste disposable sites air and water quality can suffer if not properly monitored 
So these communities may also contain older and unsafe homes. Older homes may more, are more likely to have uh, lead-based paint that can chip or find its way into the dust or and soil uh, surrounding the home, leading to illness. These houses may also be prone to structural problems mold and other hazard that put residents at higher risk or health problems so environmental justice is based on certain principles so there are 17 principles of environmental justice first one is environmental justice affirms the sacredness of mother earth ecological unity and interdependence of all species and the right to be free from ecological disturbance means every species has a right to have an rightful uh, environment quality environment that is one of the that is which we call ecocentric view in environmental ethics so environmental justice demands the public policy uh, be based on mutual respect and justice for all peoples free from any form of discrimination or bias environmental justice mandates the right to ethical balanced and responsible use of land renewable resources in the interest of sustainable planet for humans and other living things Environmental justice calls for universal protection from nuclear testing, extraction, production, and disposal of toxic hazardous wastes and poisons, and nuclear testing that threatens the fundamental right to clean air, land, and water, and food. Environmental justice affirms the fundamental right to political, economical, cultural, and environment self uh, discrimination self-determination of all people so next one is environmental justice demands the cessation of the production of all toxic hazardous wastes and radioactive and radioactive materials and that all past in and current producers to be held strictly accountable to uh, people and detoxification and contaminant at the point of production environmental justice demands the right to participate as equal partners at every level of decision making including needs assessment planning implementation enforcement and evaluation environmental justice affirms the right of all workers to a safe and healthy work environment without being forced to choose between an unsafe livelihood and employment it also affirms the right of those who work at home to be free from environmental hazards environmental justice protects the right of victims and environmental injustice to receive full compensation and reparation, uh, reparation for damage as well as quality health care. Environmental justice considers governmental acts of environmental injustice a violation of international laws, the universal degradation on human rights and United Nations Convention on Genocide. Environmental justice must recognize a special legal and natural relationship of native peoples to United uh, States government through tr treaties, agreements, compact, uh, compacts, and convenient affirming sovereignty and self-determination. Environmental justice affirms the need of urban and rural ecological policies to clean up and rebuild our cities and rural areas in balance with nature honoring the cultural integrity of all our communities and provided fair access to all uh, for all to the full range of resources environmental justice uh, calls for strict enforcement of principles of informed consent and halt to testing of experimental 
reproductive and medicinal producers or procedures and vaccinations on people of color <clears throat> last few points environmental justice opposed the destruction of operations of multinational corporations environmental justice uh, opposes military occupation repression and exploitation of land peoples and cultures and other life forms environmental justice calls for education of the present and future generation which emphasizes social and environmental issues based on our experience and appreciation of our diverse cultural perspectives and last one the last principle of environmental justice that is it requires that we have we as an individual make personal and consumer choices to consume a little of mother earth's resources to produce a little waste possible and make conscious decision to challenge and uh, reprioritize our lifestyle to ensure the health of natural world for present and future generations so these were all the principles of environmental justice and the last principles focuses on the sustainable development so I hope you all enjoy watching this lecture. Thank you.